Should I buy it? Look, I brought you all the way here. <laughs> Should have got a cart. All right, this is one for the books, Micro Center. Yes. You ever been? I have. It's been many years, though. I think you and I came here. Really? With Aaron, many years I've ago. Been once. Well, look, it's I've a. It's, been zero. <laughs> it's true. It's a computer superstore. So we're right next to Harvard. We're yeah. in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Yep. It is a franchise, but I don't think there's a million of them. No, there's very few in the U.S. Actually, so if this was closer, I'd go all the time. So when you and I were butt lads, we would go to like computer fairs. Yes. And I think this might be the closest thing to a computer fair. It's, it is. It's the closest thing that still exists to a physical store where you can go in and see just computers and computing equipment. I would argue that computers, especially like Macs and stuff, they've been commodified to the point that they're not customizable. So is it still enthusiasts? It is, but I think they have a lot more than just computers now too. They have like things like Raspberry Pis, 3D printing. So I think that there's a lot of different things to bring people in. It's the last store like this. There used to be a lot of stores that were computing focused, you know, CompUSA, Staple. Everybody used to have a lot of big computer sections. And now this is it. I'm looking for an 80 mil millimeter computer fan, Noctua. That's my, my go-to brand. And if I can find one, a Blu-ray drive. I know it's a bit of an ask because it's 2023 and Blu-ray is, you know, dead media, but. I'm hoping to get some of that pie John was talking about. I think it's like <laughs> Ikea. They got meatballs. This place has pie, I hear. <laughs> what are you hoping to get at the computer store, Love Bug? Um, I don't really know. I just look around and see if I want anything. Gloria wants to take a picture with Shaq. I wonder if that's actual height. I think that might be yeah. how tall Shaq really is. Oh Just a whole r aisle of, of cables, like Wait, computing cables. Where do you see that now? You don't. All the adapters you could ever want. A wireless charging mount. A little projector. Well, this is just interesting to me. What is it? Like, it's just, it looks like a lamp, but it's a projector. Introducing the freestyle. Why would you need it? How do you feel about surround? Do you still utilize your surround based system? Downstairs, yeah, it's great. Anything mixed in 5.1, you hear yeah. funny things in different speakers and yes. it's enjoyable. I have two monitors on stands right now and it's a little bit like awkward. Mm. You know, I can't really move them around how I'd like. And I've been thinking about something like this for quite a while. They have a nice selection here. I'm really impressed. Has a universal remote ever actually worked out for anybody? I, I never like have utilized one to the point where you know, I throw away the original remote. I'm kind of interested in a standing desk. Yeah? Kind of. I would get one that you could electronically or manually adjust. Yeah. So you could sit if you want to yes. or stand if you want. Apple, 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 Apple. Heavy duty projectors, the $1,700. For home cinema use only. It still kind of appeals to me, even though like the day of projectors has passed. Well, we did the outdoor one. That was fun. Yes. Discount servers. <laughs> Anybody need like a Dell EMC machine? It's not cheap. <laughs> oh, no, not at all. If I was going to buy a monitor, I would definitely want to come here first and like showroom it. When we went to computer fairs, we almost always bought monitors. Yes. That was a big thing. Look at that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's aspect ratio wasn't even set up correctly. <laughs> totally wrong. When you go to the Museum of Science and they have the Omni Theater, just stand there and it's like all around you. Curved TVs only remind me of one thing. What? Michael Bay. <laughs> um, I take, I try to take people on an emotional ride, and um, the curve. How does it? Uh, how do you think it's going to impact uh, how viewers experience your movies? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Have you ever wanted a laser jet printer for your home? Uh, my father has one that I set up on his computer. Is that right? I use it randomly now and then. The Blu-ray drive selection. You want an internal? Yes. I'm building a, a new media center PC. And I've already built it, but I kind of want it to be able to play Blu-ray true too. Do you have any? I have the, the Red Cow ones. Oh, true. And I have a couple that I own, but I might expand my collection. I'm gonna get myself. The price is, is just as good as I can get anywhere else. Look, Lego. Did you see the toys in Legos? The display of 3D printers that they have. Oh, yeah. yeah. 3D printers, Gloria. Do you know what a 3D printer is? It's when you can print out your own toy. These were made with a printer. Yeah, they were made with this machine. This is the kind of stuff you used to be able to buy at Radio Shack. It is individual electronic components for hobby projects or like repairs you need to make. And they've got a pretty darn good selection. It's very impressive. I'm wow. very happy to see it. Very good brand too, NTE. Speaking of raspberry pies. I love this whole wall dedicated to like pies and pies accessories and you know i gotta tell you i really enjoy racing games and i'm appealed to this yeah but is it just me or are they always too expensive this is very reasonable frankie and yet a hundred bucks that's very reasonable just Let so i tell don't you, it really is normally a hundred it works for the switch too eh it seems fun it's definitely fun <laughs> Okay, I'll think about it. <laughs> I see you can you can drive manual. This is so cool. Just a whole aisle of motherboards. There's nowhere else you could ever see. Yes. Now let me tell you, the prices 
right on. Yeah. They're right on with online prices. I, I don't quite, like, why can this place have a physical location and good prices, but everyone else can't? Probably in Harvard, they make a lot of money here. Well, and the rent must be very expensive here. They have an amazing selection of graphics card here, too. All the latest stuff. Yeah, back there is the make your own PC section. Yes, this is this whole area is kind of the make your own PC section. And there's effectively like a supermarket of stuff that way. Ooh, like all over there. I'm, I'm very interested to see what they have there, too. When you built me a PC in 2013, I'm still using that PC. It's still and it's, adequate for your needs? It's not just adequate. It's performing great. That's wonderful. It's like a new PC. Yeah. Oh, I tried to select the best component. Ten years later. Yep. How long are your life cycles? for your PCs typically? Um, I used to do four. Now um, I've moved to like seven. Not finding your fan? No, they have the brand, but they don't have the specific size I'm looking for. And the brand is? Noctua. They make the very best fans. I remember you bought me a heat sink and... Yes, it was a Noctua heat sink, which yep. is the same one I still use on mine today. Hi, thank you. Is that an impression of John? <laughs> it's an impression of mom? She's nope. made it out of her. Okay. A kit to make your very own videos. We have a ring light like that in the basement, right? Yeah. For podcasts, thermal paste injectors, little uh, syringes for thermal paste. Network switches, network switches, tons of them. This is just switches aisle. Switches of all shapes and sizes. Little switches. I was told that I could get faster internet at my house if I had a newer cable modem. Mine only goes to 300 Mbps max. Mm. And now they have 600 for very cheap, for like 50 bucks. <laughs> and then 10 gigabits. Oh my God. <laughs> ridiculous. You, some places can get it. I don't think we can get it. Even one gigabit would be ridiculous. Yeah. You still love a tablet? I still love a tablet. I still have two tablets. I've changed from my Google ones to Amazon ones. So you've never gone for an iPad. No, they're too closed off. I, I just like the Android ecosystem. This is the cable modem section. Tons and tons of cable modems. And routers. Look at, look at this. This is like a Neon Genesis Evangelion <laughs> themed router. I've never heard of such a thing. Get your... Round access points here. TP for my bunghole. Wall-mounted APs that plug into an outlet. Yeah, sometimes you have hard ceilings and you can't run new cabling. Yeah. You audio cables? It is. Audio. XLRs? XLRs to 3.5 balanced audio cable. That's a nice cable. Like, it's not just computers. It's like you could solve all kinds of problems with it. AV? You have a whole aisle of just printer cartridges. I print? desperately want to print. Hard copy. It's incredible that she and I can remain together. I want them collated, highlighted. I want little sticky tabs on each thing. I've had to go through this process to apply for a Massachusetts Real ID. Have you had to do this? Yes. Nina did it. And it requires a lot of printed documents from many sources. Mm. And so printing has been on my mind lately. So. I went to use my Real ID to open up a credit union oh. account. And they were like, do you have a different form of identification? This one's not going through. And I used my health insurance card after going through all the rigmarole. If this was closer to me, I would be here all the time. Yeah? yeah. Just to check for the deals to see what was like on the clearance, you know? HDMI to component interesting adapter that I never thought I would see. Oh, well, is the concept, like, let's say that I wanted to take one of my HDMI mini consoles and connect it to my CRT. Yes, if your CRT has component. Damn they have it. composite right here, HDMI to uh, composite. You know what? How much? Oh, God, it's, it's expensive. expensive. 55 um, bucks. I'll consider you can it. You get it for 15 on it. I'll consider it. Boy, this is very appealing. For the living room and the basement, we should get two. You can get the longer form, too, if you like me. The same price. 12 outlets. All right, we're doing it for fire safety. Oh. We're going to be cool about fire safety. Oh, be cool about Almost need three. No, finish side's okay. There's one power strip connected to an extension cable. That's okay. acceptable, right? No daisy chaining, right? There's no daisy chaining, but there is in the living room. Need just a few more outlets where you have one right now. Love it. This is one of those things. Yeah. Power extension. I love it. Yes, I do too. I like the ones that are flat to the wall, mm. but then they go down to a regular outlet. Right behind you? Yeah. UPSs. UPSs. I still have them at my house, but the power has become a lot more reliable at my house over the years. So this is one of my favorite cables, and it seems so useless. <gasps> a 10-inch extension cord. But sometimes you just need a little extra. Power. That's very appealing to me. There's one down here in clearance. Often when I'm doing retro computing stuff, I need a power adapter of a specific voltage and type, and I don't have the right one. And this is multi-voltage, multi-tail. This one is complete as it says, but it was previously opened, so it is $4 off. One of these, you ever see these? They're great if you have nothing but transformers. You just plug them all in. We're gonna spend all of our time in the power aisle. <laughs> you know, it just gives you outlets and a switch. Comment below if you love the power aisle as much as we do. Every time I see a creative way to distribute power, I love it. Well, this is very appealing to me too. Yeah. I kind of want one of these for the home. Get your USB, you got your AC, and it's battery backed up, solar rechargeable if you so desire, for when the power goes out, but it's $800. They can run refrigerators for at least a period of time. Damn. Everybody must know I still buy media because I produce media. You produce the media. Printable white 50 gig Blu-rays. Well, the clearance rack. Oh. oh my God, it's a huge HDMI. Yes, active extended cable. Somewhere in here there is 
an active extender. How's the price on the AAA batteries? There's little buckets of them. $17.98. For the big pack? What about double A? I'm always in the need for double A. Oh, is that good? Six ninety nine. It is, but it's diehard brand. They're not going to last that long. Better off with probably these, which is probably like eighteen. Look, three prong. Ooh. If it was only a little longer. Well, I'm thinking for the basement because you've got you have like. <laughs> You're really skeptical of my basement setup. You had a power strip plugged into the wall, and then you had an extension cord plugged into the power strip, and then another power strip plugged into the extension cord at the other end. That's fair. All right, you want to get one of these? Why not? I still love a good pair of headphones, let me tell you. What about a good pair of speakers? Speakers too, but as time goes on, I find I like headphones even more. Well, let me tell you something. Number one, I'm gonna tell you All something. Right. These right here, the bone conduction. Yeah? It's the way to go. It's the, the sound quality is good? Absolutely. I've never experienced that technology, but I've heard a lot of good things it's about it. It's great. You don't want headphones in your ears anymore. If you were to go for a walk, John, you'd want the shocks. I used to just do headphones, but maybe that's not a like great full idea. Like full-blown headphones? Yeah. That's some geeky stuff. I'm a pretty geeky guy. <laughs> I actually would wear gaming headsets. Come on. No, that's I'm a serious. man who's not ready to be outside. <laughs> You're probably right. The Raspberry Pi manual. I love it. Two little books. How to bake a pie. I feel like you can never have enough microfiber cloths. You didn't get the fan. No, they didn't have one, but I am going to get this Blu-ray drive and this power adapter. That's what's in your cart. It's what's in my cart, my hand cart. Sometimes we still need to pretend it's 15 years ago <laughs> and buy a serial extension cable. Digital video cable. Oh, DVI. <laughs> DVI? Remember DVI? I kind of forgot about For about three about that. years. Yeah. I don't think I need the 8K images right now. Or for now. that matter, DisplayPort. Yeah. How do you feel about this sort of thing? I do like it. Actually, it appeals to me a lot. I currently have one that is just empty underneath. And this has all these nice little pockets for my trinkets. Pockets for my trinkets. For, for my, my trinkets. trinkets. So another box for my trinkets. What's going on? It's Trinketville. What about this sort of thing right here? Pretty cool, but I don't have any like need for a drawer, really. What about a weighted compression eye pillow? I have a weighted compression do eye you? pillow. Do you? Yes. Do you wear it? I do. When I wake up at 4 o'clock, I usually put it on and just, just for the morning. What's the concept? Um, it blocks out the light, first of all, and it like gives you a little comfort to the eyes. Mm. You ever own one of these? I've never have. A laptop cooling pad? No. But you know what? I know people who need one. Especially if you put them on your lap, like uh, like the name implies, you're gonna overheat that machine like nothing. I need to sh show you something very important. Firewire cables. <laughs> and there's still at least one in there. Why are all firewire cables in this style with the clear case? You make an excellent point. They <laughs> like always even were. Now, did, were these just made 20 years ago? Yeah, they probably were. They look like they were. From QVS, the all new Firewire kit. This looks like it was sold on. Yeah in 2007. And do you remember the, the, the conflicting standards for FireWire? There's four pin. Yes. Like the little tiny one, the six pin, and then the later eight pin that we yes. thankfully didn't have to deal with. Yes. USB-C to USB-A long. That's appealing. Yeah. Look at this fine variety of tools. Nice precision bit kit. Let me tell you, having a good one of those. I love a good servicing tool. There's definitely something appealing about having the right tool for the right job. Absolutely. It can save you so much time and energy. Yeah. Ooh, one of these, these grabbers. I kind of want one. I think it's called a hemostat. Nina could tell us. Oh, because it's also used as a medical instrument? Yes. What, cables organizer shelf? What? What am I looking at here? You actually, it's a shelf. And it's used to like contain your cables. I don't get it. Do you use products like this flexi cable wrap? No, I really should though, honestly. Although, you know, I don't like having inflexible situations. Yeah. We're like, yeah. oh, now I've tied myself into a bind. Yep. How about a little pro LED flashlight? Just a little one. It's so small. It could like fit in my wallet. If you need a swab, like it's a Q-tip, but it sands instead of comfort. Good price. Three for 15? Three for 15 is a good price. You're walking on sunshine. All of the chemicals that are supposed to be like cleaning electronics, she just inhales the whole thing in her mouth. It's like I'm walking on sunshine. Should I buy it? Look, I brought you all the way here. You saved on gas. <laughs> Should have got a cart. Now you're gonna get into the boxed software, okay? I just say, look at this doorway, right? This doorway was born out of a time in the 1990s when computing areas had maple frame doorways and they looked like this. As soon as you get inside, it's clearly like modern, but the doorway, Not. It's, it's been here the whole time. You buy paper at Micro Center. Make no mistake. Can. I I was just thinking, do I need any paper? And I don't really. Remember these old colored jeweled cases? Oh, uh, it's very back of memories. Life used to be good. It was. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. What about you? Building robot kit. A robot engineer. What did it all come out to? 104. There they are with their power. The power couple. Oh, how much did you spend? 110, 46 cents. You beat me. I bought these he hemostats. hemostats, yes. For grabbing small parts. This universal power adapter. This three pack of canned air for a very reasonable $15. Yeah. And one 
internal DVD Blu-ray drive. I'm kind of feeling like I got ripped off. What did you think of Micro Center? I liked it. I liked it less. I loved it. <laughs> you know, you go to Stone Cold Creamery and they have the, I like it, I love it, and then there's one more layer gotta even. Have it. <laughs> gotta have it. I gotta have it. <laughs> Come here for Black Friday. <laughs> to spend oh. thousands. You're doing so great job. Thank you. Yeah, and that, I this mean, piece will... eyes, right? Okay, pretty cool. Yay! Yay! What's the robot's name? R2D2 Maniac. R2D2 Maniac. I highly approve. Yeah.